G'day everyone, welcome back. In this video I'll be painting my 7 string Les Paul. So I'm just going to talk through you guys with what I did. First up I'm just masking the fretboard and I'm going to go ahead and put some primer on the neck. So I'm just using a spray primer. I did two coats of primer and then finished it off with a matte black. After peeling off the masking tape, I was pretty happy with the results. For the body, I also did two coats of primer. And I finished the back and sides with matte black and left the top just plain primer. So my plan for the top is actually to do a concrete effect. That's why I've left the, um, the primer, because it's a grey base, so it's a pretty good starting point for the concrete. So here I'm applying some watered down black acrylic paint, and I'm going to wipe that off afterwards with a sponge, which will leave a concrete like effect. Add to the depth of the concrete effect, I also did the same thing with some white watered down acrylic paint. I also did a bit of a fade on the top corner with some matte black spray paint. It's not really noticeable in the video, but you can see it in the finished product. Now this is a time lapse of me painting the face of Billy the Puppet from the Saw movie franchises. There's actually a reason why I chose this image. Earlier on in the year, me and my mates actually started a Facebook group messenger chat just to keep in touch because we're all living in different places. And from that, we eventuated a game. Basically what the game was is that we would send each other videos playing random guitar riffs and then the rest of the group would have to guess the riff. We ended up calling the game Game of Riffs, and the group we titled Riffaholics Anonymous. Now along with the riffs, we were actually sending quite a few gifts, and one of the gifts we were sending was a gif of Billy the Puppet saying, let the game begin. This was quite often sent when someone had sent a really tricky riff that they thought would be hard to guess. From there we kind of adopted that catchphrase and now we're in the middle of getting merch made up and we decided why not make this Billy the Puppet our unofficial mascot for the Game of Rifts group. So that's pretty much the reason why I've chosen his face for the theme of the guitar. So here I'm just putting a bit of fake blood splatter on the lettering. I'm just using a stiff bristle brush with some red acrylic paint on there, just to achieve that effect. This is the finished paint job at the end. 
in its photos. It's um, still yet to be clear coated, but I think it looks pretty decent so far. Anyway, thanks for watching, ladies and gents. In the next video, you'll probably see the finished guitar, and hopefully, there'll be a demo as well.